Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. A paragraph has parts just like a hamburger. We use a hamburger organizer to help us remember the parts of a paragraph. In the previous grasshopper teaching video, we learned that the top bun of the hamburger is for the topic sentence. A topic sentence tells what the paragraph is about and helps the reader to know what they will learn. In today's teaching video, we will learn all about the middle part of the hamburger organizer, which is for the supporting details. Supporting details hold up the topic sentence, just like the lettuce, tomato, and patty hold up the bun of the burger. Here's the plan for today's video. First, we will learn all about supporting details. Next, you will learn how to identify supporting details in a paragraph and practice finding them. At the end is the bonus! You will learn how to check the supporting details in your own writing. You will finish by practicing this skill. Make sure to click the link below for more practice activities. Supporting details are information that help to prove, explain, or clarify the main idea or topic sentence of a paragraph. Some types include facts, examples, and reasons. We can find them after the topic sentence in a paragraph. The main thing to remember is that supporting details prove that the topic sentence is true. Now let's learn some steps we can take to find these details in paragraphs. First, we read the paragraph. There are many types of video games. One type of video game is a sports game. Another type is a building game. A final type of game is an action-adventure game. These are some types of video games you can play. Next, we find the topic sentence. We're going to look for a sentence that has both the topic and the main idea of the paragraph. So after reading, we know the topic of the paragraph is video games and the main idea is types of video games. Look, here is the sentence that combines those parts. There are many types of video games. This is the topic sentence. After that, we find the transition words. These are words or phrases that show a new idea is coming. Some examples of transition words are one, another, first, also, although, and for example. So let's take a look at our paragraph about video games and circle the transition words. It's time to find the proof. You may be wondering, how do we know which sentences are proof? Let's find out. To find the proof, also called the supporting details, we look for sentences that prove, clarify, or explain the topic sentence. Sometimes we will see transition words at the start of these sentences. We have our topic sentence. Here are some sentences that might be the supporting details. We will check each detail to make sure it gives new, on-topic information that connects to the topic sentence. The first detail is, one type of video game is a sports game. This connects to the topic sentence because it's giving an example of a type of video game. The next detail is, another type of video game is a building game. This connects to the topic sentence because it is a new example. The third detail, a final type of game is an action-adventure game, is another new example, so it connects. We found three supporting details that prove that there are different types of video games. We put the steps for finding supporting details onto a checklist. Let's use the checklist to find the supporting details of a new paragraph. First, we read the paragraph. You have to wear certain clothing to play soccer. One thing you wear to play soccer is cleats, so you can run easily on the grass. Another thing you wear during a soccer match is shin guards. You will also wear a jersey when you play soccer to show which team you are on. These are some things you wear to play soccer. Now we identify the topic sentence. Here it is. You have to wear certain clothing to play soccer. Next, we find the transition words. It's time to find the proof. These sentences might be our supporting details. 
we check each one to make sure it's new information that connects to the topic sentence. One thing you wear to play soccer is cleats. This is a supporting detail since it's an example of the topic sentence. Another thing you wear during a soccer match is shin guards. This is a new example of the topic sentence, so it's a supporting detail. You will also wear a jersey when you play soccer to show which team you are on. This is also a supporting detail since it's a new example of the topic sentence. This paragraph has three supporting details that prove you must wear certain clothing to play soccer. Now it's your turn. Read the paragraph and use the checklist to find the supporting details. You can pause the video to practice. Let's check your work. Did you use the checklist? If yes, did you find these three supporting details? Great work! You made it to the bonus! When revising your own writing, you also want to check the supporting details. One thing to check is that every detail gives new information. You don't want to repeat the same information. You also want to check that each detail connects to the topic sentence. You don't want to include off-topic information. Here is a new paragraph. First, we will read it. Ice cream sundaes are an easy dessert to make. First, scoop your favorite flavor ice cream into a bowl. The grocery store sells lots of flavors. Next, drizzle chocolate sauce on top of the ice cream. Finally, add toppings like cookies, sprinkles, and candy. Also, don't forget to put lots of toppings on your sundae. Ice cream sundaes are simple to create. The topic sentence is, ice cream sundaes are an easy dessert to make. And here are some sentences that might be the supporting details. Let's check each one. First, scoop your favorite flavor ice cream into a bowl. This explains how to make ice cream sundaes so it connects to the topic sentence. Here's the next detail. The grocery store sells lots of flavors. This information is not about making ice cream sundaes. It is off topic and will be taken out of the paragraph. Another detail is, next, drizzle chocolate sauce on top of the ice cream. This detail gives an easy step for making an ice cream sundae so it connects to the topic sentence. Here's the next detail. Finally, add toppings like cookies, sprinkles, and candy. This connects because it's a simple step to make a sundae. The last supporting detail is, also, don't forget to put lots of toppings on your sundae. This information was already in the paragraph. This repeated detail will be removed. Now we have a revised paragraph with only new and on-topic supporting details. Now it's your turn. Read the paragraph and use the checklist to find the supporting details. Remove any details that have off-topic or repeated information. You can pause the video to practice. Let's check your work. Did you use the checklist? If yes, did you find these three supporting details? Also, did you remove these two details? Awesome job! In this Grasshopper teaching video, we learned all about supporting details and how their job is to prove the topic sentence is true. Remember, if a paragraph does not have supporting details, it'll fall apart, just like a burger that's missing the tomato, lettuce, and patty. You've completed the lesson for today. You are now a supporting details expert. To continue practicing, find this activity and more in the link below. Thanks for watching GTV. Hop on down to like this Grasshopper teaching video and subscribe for more. For even more, follow Grasshopper on Teachers Pay Teachers, Pinterest, and Instagram.